Steve Oliver, it's so good to, good to be here. No, and I want you to meet Lucretia, who's one of the main nice organizers. Nice now, nice. hug. This is a hug thing. <laughs> yeah, and, and Lucretia has been telling me about the actual traumas that she's feeling, offering all this free service. Tell us some of this, because Steve knows about trauma from this government. What's been happening is you're trying to organize and run this thing smoothly from behind. Um, there's just been a lot of um, what feels like people coming in to sort of disrupt the, the, the rest, you know, like there's, there's been a lot of guys coming in, running in to say, hey, 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 we're surrounded, like they're coming, you know, there's, yeah. there's, they're coming to, to they're, they're going to, after Thursday, you know, yeah. Yeah, we all saw Thursday, right? So we're all on edge, we've all got that knot in our tummy and, you know, people come in and say, hey, 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 hey. There's, there's 10 paddy wagons, they've just rolled in, they're just, they're coming. And it's yeah. not and, true. And we, we've now learned that we just go, we calmly walk around, we go yeah. around the back, okay, there's just one paddy wagon, yeah, cool, yeah, that's yeah. not true. Yeah. So we're just slowly ticking the list, yep, and now we just know that when something extreme happens, someone's in a panic, they usually run in, say something, and run off really quickly. So, so fast yeah. you can't even recognise what's happening yeah. until you realise, oh, that wasn't true, you never got a photo of them. And it is, it's a constant flood of misinformation. Yeah, yeah. A complete constant flood. Yeah. There's, there's been alcohol dropped at the gates to get people drunk on the outside. On my first night here, I had to. We drove our oh, second night here. We drove an old Maori lady home at one in the morning, all the way like 40 minutes away, because she was too drunk to get on the train. She yeah. wasn't, she wasn't drinking in here. She was drinking on the outside, and she was all by herself. Yeah. And are you saying alcohol is being dropped there by someone? Yes. Do we know who that could be? No, we don't. Steve, I have just, had people tell me that they've seen it be, being dropped. I've heard that too. Mm. Motorbikes coming in with packages yes, with and drugs. and they just and drugs and alcohol mm. dropping it down the. So it looks really bad from the outside, but we don't see it on the inside until you start walking the perimeter. And there's so many more. There's so many more things. It's Steve. The does this surprise squad, you? The bomb squad. The, the, you know, what do you mean the riot squad? Well, they said well, there's been rumours are oh, the riot squad's going to come. They're going to come on Thursday. They're going to come on this day. You know, mm. the Hercules. Have you heard that one? The Hercules is filling up. It's landing. It's landing. It's going to. It's coming soon. It's on the road. Oh, the um, the army. Um, what do you call them? The army machines are coming. You know, all sorts. Yeah. All how sorts. are you? We can't trust anyone. How basically. are you coping with that much pressure? Um, day at a time. 10 deep breaths, yeah. meditation, and spending time with my children. Yeah. And the beauty of the good And Kiwis. the beauty, because what's happening is, and amongst that, there is an uprising of open-hearted, yeah. strong, many business owners. Yeah. I believe like at almost like 80 to 90% of the people here are business yeah. owners, yeah. right? Saying enough. 100%. Family people, business owners. And I'm a business owner, yeah. and I know how hard it is to build a business yeah. from scratch and to have it ripped out from underneath you. And we'll I have talk five about children. that in a moment. Five children. I have five children. You would relate. So, yeah. Steve, can you relate to a lot of this? Because you were traumatised and traumatised by work yeah, safe Yeah, coming. I mean, you know, it's just constant. It is a constant. They're trying to wear us down. I mean, the lockdowns are part of it. It's, it's just a consistent sort of mindset that if God is trying to wear us down, as a people break us down, you know, it's... But, uh, you know, they can't stop this. We'll have a look around. I mean, the, 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 just the heart of the people is just obvious. You know, they can spin it five different ways in the media, but just come down and witness it for yourself. It's just the most beautiful display of community that I've ever seen. You know, it's just honestly like just the, the way that the, the, the mothers have got, you know, the kids areas here for the kids. There's guys giving haircuts. There's, uh, you know, first aid. There's, you know, just a, a great team of people like yourself making sure that the, the, just the peace of this movement doesn't get, uh, you know, compromised, and, and and that's key right now. You know, there's always going to be a, you know, small demographic of people that uh, do what they'll do. You know, you go to a rugby game, go to a concert. There's always one or two instigators, but these guys are doing a great job of, uh, you know, isolating, you know, and and just, uh, you know, seeing who those guys are and, and making sure that it doesn't happen. And Steve, a lot of people are saying on on MSM they're trying to cook up that it's not good for kids to be here. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. Are your kids loving being here? It's like oh, a mate, got, Yeah, I, I mean, I've got videos of my kids all up there, you know, with you know five different races playing the bottle up games. You know, like yeah. just no one and cares, face man. Painting yeah, and no one singing. cares who you are, where you come from, what colour you are, how tall, what haircut you got. It's all just about community. It's all about just great, you know, big-hearted Kiwis coming together for a, for a common cause, and that's for the future of our, of our country. And you know, that's Steve, what we're here what's for. your advice to Lucretia about dealing with that mind? 
kind of psychological warfare yeah. this government exactly does. Psychological yeah. warfare yeah. every I mean, day. Is, you just got to breathe, just got to relax, and you just got to deal with things that are actually real. You know what I mean? You got to, and you're getting, a, you know, as time goes on, you get your systems are going to get more and more established, and you're going to have better people coming in, and it's just dealing with reality, not not uh, you know pipe dreams, yeah. which is which is what our our government specialises on pipe dreams. You know. And do you so, feel like that is something in your gut, like you know the truth is, is it's in your gut, you know what's right. Like for me that's so strong. Mm. My my moral compass is so strong. That yeah. is beautiful, that inner moral compass that yeah. not the dirtiest tricks in the world can ever get past. Mm. You said it's like a viper, a den of vipers. It's I like, said it's like a sea of snakes. Right. That's what it feels like. But the beauty is rising up and it is strong we yeah. have met i have never met so many incredible mm. smart intelligent beautiful people yeah. all in one space yeah. in such a short time in all of my life yeah. it's just it's incredible it's so much harder work to be a liar and to be dissembling and to be yeah. tricking people than it is to be loving isn't it so much easier yeah, to be is. loved well, you know i mean it's just no real end in goal there. I mean, yeah. you know, deceit and all that just where's it end? It ends up, you know, in a bad place. But, you know, this is, this is I, I had to bring my kids down. We, uh, I was here last weekend and then I jumped in an RV and took the whanau down because I just wanted them to witness it and to be a part of history. I, you know, I've got my baby over here. She's, uh, you know, two years old. Not even two years old, but she'll be saying to her, you know, grandkids, I was there, you know, I, I seen what was happening and, and I was a part of it. So this is a special time in New Zealand history. It's a beautiful time. It's, you know, the harder they try and oppress us, the harder they try and segregate us, the, you know, the harder and the stronger the New Zealand people are coming together. It's a beautiful thing to witness, yeah. And you know what, Steve, in 20 years, just say, Dad, where were you in 2022? Yeah. And you'll go, I was right there and I brought you with me. Yeah. She'll be so That's proud it. of her, oh, Dad. Yeah. It's just a special place to be right now. And I just recommend if you've got any concerns, come and have a look. It's only going to take a five minute walk around here to see what the true heart of the, and spirit of this movement is. You know, it's, it's so awesome. So proud of you, Steve. And Lucretia, with your kids, are they loving being here as well? You're yeah, fine? they are. They're connecting with old friends, making new friends. Yeah. And sometimes it's a little bit scary. And when it is, we just remove them. You know, like, at, you know, on Thursday, I made sure that they weren't here yep. we saw it coming we didn't bring them we yep. made them stay, stay safe so it, you really got to follow your gut you know if it feels good it feels good and, it, and today it's been a good day for children most of the day you know so it's it's really moment to moment and just being aware being in your body and being aware and actually just keeping your eyes open and and the beauty of that um, convoy seeing everyone on every bridge uh, we were the fourth truck in to see that joy was just, it's changed my life. It really has. Really? That, Absolutely. In what way? In what way? Well, we just realised that we had so much support all around New Zealand, you know. Like, people stood for four hours in the rain in Hamilton, for example. When we came through the Tarapa Strait, I started at Mercer. When we came through the Tarapa Strait, it was wet, cold. People had stood there for four hours waiting because the stop in Mercer was a little bit longer yeah. and everyone was a bit tired and the convoy was a lot bigger than everyone expected yeah. so it took a lot longer yeah. and you know there was people on every corner in the middle of nowhere there was you know every bridge yeah every bridge let's contrast that with Ardern trying to send her I know online she tries to send buckets of trolls and do it en masse and she has all these people saying horrible comments you know it's coming from the government absolutely put a, put a message down the camera to her just say, do you, would you like to say to just stop, enough, we're over it. It's not going to win, is it? I would say choose love. Choose, choose the truth, that's what I would say. Because that's what we're going to do and we will do it until it ends. We will do it. Are you it willing to stay here until we Absolutely. get what we want? What 100%. is it you'd love? What is it you'd love? Freedom. And uh, the right to not be discriminated against. I just had a phone call from the dentist surgery, uh, the Thames Hospital. They told me that my daughter, who needs dental surgery, is four years old. It's her second dental surgery. She will not be able to have dental surgery because she does not have a vaccinated parent to take her. Disgusting, eh? I mean, the discrimination in, under no circumstances is OK. This, and this is where, how we've grown up, and it's just all of a sudden she's trying to turn it around from, you know, they are us and we're a team and be kind, I'd just pick, just pick one, just pick one that you actually fucking believe in. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, you jam this, these narratives down our throat while it suits you, and then you turn it around and you, and you just flush it all down the toilet. Which one is it? Is it be kind? Is it they or us? Is it we're a team? Any one of those. 
any one of those, you make sure that you, you, you stand by that, and this whole thing's over. You know, just kill the mandates, you know? Give us our country back. It's crazy. And finally, that business that you that was ruined, what was it? Because if people can can offer you and your husband work out to called, this, I'd love that. It's called Bird Infrastructure, B-I-R-D, Infrastructure, and we do water mains, water main renewals, drainage, civil drainage, uh, residential drainage, and service, uh, industrial service um, service lines underground. What's your husband's specialty? You mentioned it before. Water reticulation. He's a water reticulation specialist. And what happened under the mandates? Water care mandated that every single person, even the delivery drivers, even though everyone's working outside, must be vaccinated and have a current vaccine pass. Mm. That is disgusting. So, if anybody needs their water drains done, yeah. how do they get hold of you? So, we're on Facebook and we have a website, it's birdinfrastructure.com. Brilliant. Yeah. And Lucretia, what are you doing to keep all this going? Just tell us some of the jobs you're talking doing. Talking to the people. Beautiful. That's the main job. Talking to the people and not just talking to them, but hearing them, yes. voicing their concerns, taking notes and relaying that back to the people that need to hear it and trying to find a commonality between the people so that we can all fit on the same page and unite together because we all here for one thing. Mostly, we're all here for the one thing, and that's uh, you know for us to be fairly treated and not discriminated against. Oh. Would you like some donations from this interview? Because we can put your account up at the end if you would like to send that to me. Steve got some help, didn't you, Steve? From yeah, Kings, no, I mean, and it's, it's hard amazing. for you at the moment. Yeah, I think I, I mean I I you, want to you say no. You provided that tent. You bought I, that out of your own. And money. and it will get refunded by the donations that are being given. There are so many generous donations, but. It's, it's always hard, you know, it's hard for me to accept help. It you really do. is. I know, all it of is, because like I, I just want to work and work, work, work yeah. my way through it, but you can't. Yeah. Will you give you us your to, account number yeah, and we'll I will. put it at the end of this? I because will. you're I don't doing want a to, job for all of us. Yeah. And Steve, finally, how long are you going to stay here, you wonderful man? Uh, well, we, uh, we just grabbed an RV and uh, threw all the kids and jumped in it, and uh, we started uh, yesterday and stayed on a desert road last night and got down here lunchtime so we go yeah we're just just good for the family to experience it we're going to stay here stay tonight i've got you know a lot of the boys running around helping out with security and stuff tonight and then uh we'll jump in the car and head home around lunchtime tomorrow so brilliant if it's okay with you we'll put your account up again too because steve's having a lot of how many fines have you had so well, far yeah, we just had funny? another email and the and the lawyer was saying that the way they're gearing up the questioning is to take it to the next level on that uh, health and safety issue which which the fines go to the next level which can be 100 200 300k oh, so but no. so but we got we got a real you know bad man on on the team as far as uh you know, uh, defence lawyer. So, that uh, isn't good. Yeah, that isn't good. So he's he's having uh, he's really you know, and I mean they defend you know some of these guys defend bad, bad people, yeah. and he's just seen our our heart and our intent. You know what we want to do for the community. He's like, man, if I ever want to win a case, it's now. So he's really? motivated and he's uh, he's getting after it, and it's going to be interesting. So put Steve's account number up. Don't remember. Don't forget, he's a leading case in terms of work safe bias and bullying and he's standing up for all of us so if you can put some money in both accounts that would be wonderful five dollars price of two coffees ten dollars it helps yeah it's all man just a yeah. beautiful community here and it is it's a lot of it's uh, you know quite well established business business owners you know yeah. i've talked to guys you know i've talked to guys here they've got orchards you know and i was talking oh what sort of quantities he's talking 150 tons of apple you're like serious amount of you know uh high level businessmen here well. yeah spoken yeah. to him i met that guy and what, these guys aren't just one man bands there's massive business owners here that are just you know they're just saying the country can't survive their economy can't survive in this environment we've got to do something and now's the time you know we have firefighters we have paramedics we have we have, um, you know, physios. We have so many good people, and they're all offering their skills here for free. For free. Let that sink in. For free. We are all working voluntarily for the cause because the we feel food driven. Is free. The car is Everything free. is free. The clothing. Everything. Come and see it. Come and see it. Thank you both, guys. Right, awesome. Amazing. Your work is really impressive so to me. It, it makes a difference what you're that doing. Is it you. really does. That's how I see you. Thank you. Awesome. Good to see you. Beautiful. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs>